In this video, I demonstrate to you a few use cases I'm using AC App Options page to let clients or my team members control whole areas on the site from a dedicated WordPress admin area. You can display its data on any page, making perfect for headers and footers. We will use Bricks Builder to integrate this data seamlessly. Let's dive in. The ACF Pro Options page is a centralized area you give your clients or users for all site wide settings. It has a user friendly interface for known technical users, and by default, it's only accessible to admin user roles. And to access the Options page, over, over on click or on the options pages option in the WordPress admin. I have already done so, but I'm going to create from scratch to help you in this matter. So you will click here, you will give it a name and it works similarly as you would create a custom post type where you can assign a dash icon with a menu icon you will enable this advanced configuration and then you will choose from here your preferred icon. Let's go with this one. The second and the final step to make this work is creating custom fields. So, so I'm going to create four custom fields which will include the company address, the company email, so that we can then integrate in the header and the footer. And I will include in my header and in my footer all of these details. Here in the top bar, in the left and right hand side, and in the contact information on my footer. So I will give it a meaningful name and I will create four types. The first one would be a text field. So text field, register the company address, press tab from your keyboard, close this up and I will have another one. And this time would be an email for the company email. Press tab from your keyboard, close this up. The next one would be a number. So change here to a number type and I call it company mobile. And the last one would be a repeater field, which holds three subfields to input the social media channels, its username and the URLs. So I call it here social media, press tab from your keyboard and I will insert here my three subfields. Click on this add field button. The first one would be a text channel, close this up. The next one would be username as a text type, close this up. And finally, the last one would be a URL type, this one and I call it URL. That's the simplest way. And you may ask yourself, why am I using a repeater field? Is that the repeater field type works as a parent container, which holds these three subfields that can be re repeated over and over again. Any kind of field can be used within a repeater and there, re there are no limits of repeat either. Okay, and now under the settings area is where you define the location rules and make sure you have set to show this field group if the options page is equal to the options page name. And that's it. Then you would save the changes. Let's visit the options page. There you have it. It looks like this. I have already filled up the ACF fields with my company details. And if I need to add or to remove any data within the repeater fields, all you have to do is to click on this plus icon and to remove to click on this minus icon. Say I want to add a new one, click, and then I would insert here, for instance, Instagram, you enter now the remaining fields. And now to get, uh, let's remove this. And to get the values, we will use Bricks Builder Dynamic Content. 
And the great thing about this, you just set it once on the mains on this options page, and then any change you make here automatically is updated in your entire website, saving you from manually updating each part separately. So I go with the bricks templates. I go with the header first. And as you can see, I have already this top bar already set up. To render the data is super easy and simplifies repetitive tasks to leverage your time and resources for what's really important to your business. So I select the button and then the dynamic data icon. We have a lot of options in regards to dynamic tags. I like to type for ACF. Immediately the Bricks Builder displays a list of containing all the ACF fields. I go with company address, this first one, click outside, and there you have it, my company address. And the same goes for the right hand side, delete this, select dynamic icon, HCF, and I will input here the company mobile. Click outside, and there you have it, super cool. And let's check on the front end. So click on the preview button. As you can see, it's perfectly and everything is running smoothly, even on mobile devices. And now let's say my client has changed the company mobile number. How do you approach this? Instead of customizing inside Rick's Builder templates, your client can go easily make the changes under the company details, which is the options page. And let's change this to 999, 999. You will update and let's check now if it has been updated in the front end. There you have it. Perfect. And for the footer, let's open Rick's template footer, edit with bricks. And I want to bring the company email to this area and the social media. I select the rich text element inside my container. You delete this, you select dynamic data, ACF, company email. You can combine with um, static content like this, and you can turn this as a link by clicking on this icon. And to bring the social media in the repeater field, you will need to add a container. I will add here a div. Inside my div, I will insert a heading, but you can go with a basic text or a rich text. And this container will serve as a placeholder for my dynamic data. I will search for my ACF custom fields, choose this one, social media, and now I select the container, I activate the query loop builder, and I will specify here that I want to use this ACF repeater. There you have it. Now I need to change this to a paragraph, and that's it. Now you can stylize it further. So the possibilities are endless here. These are just two simple examples, but you can choose this to manage, for instance, your privacy policy, your terms of service in one single spot, making your life easier. I really hope you liked this video. If so, simply give me a like or a comment. It helps me a lot in terms of YouTube algorithm. Watch this next video you are viewing on the screen to learn how I created a dynamic media gallery with Bricks Builder.